to my channel. Today I'll be doing this question paper for computerized financial systems N6 as a preparation for your final exam. This question paper was written in 24 June 2024. I have received a numerous requ request for me to do this video for first-time payroll. So I think this video is going to help you a lot when you, you write your exams. Um, what is important with the question paper for N6, uh, you are doing both pastel pa payroll as well as Excel. So question one was out of 50 marks, it was pastel payroll, and then question two to five was Excel. So uh, you need to master those two programs in order to do well in this question paper. So let's dive in to the first section of your work, which is payroll. Uh, you were given a company, you said the company Parts of Traders has already been created on a payroll system. Enter the exemption number after the company name. Okay, the company has been created for you, you don't have to worry about that. The most important part is this one, where you are required to enter the examination number. Uh, most of the time you find that the students uh, will print their payslip or any other reports on pastel but uh, it doesn't have their examination number and they will tell you that no i put my examination number uh, they, there's no way that is not appearing on the printouts so i'll show you the way that you, uh, you must do in order to make sure that your examination number appears in all the printouts because um, if that doesn't happen there are marks that are going to be deducted. Uh, I'm just checking that point. Let me check um, that instruction again. I think it's instruction number nine. It says uh, your, your examination number and the workstation number must print or must be printed on all your printouts. No printout without examination number or workstation number or with a handwritten uh, number will be marked. Do not type your name or your surname. So make sure that you, you adhere uh, to these instructions because they are telling you exactly what you need to do. Okay, then when you get your question paper, as I've said, this, the, the company will be loaded on the system. You'll have to put an examination number and then it says, check all information to and make sure it has been captured in the system. So although the employee files have been opened, certain information must still be captured so they also want to test you whether you are able to uh, change or put information that has, has not been put for you so you must take note of that so you check your company okay this is the company information part of traders the most important part is this one what is the pay frequency that you'll be dealing with in this case you'll be dealing with a fortnight some question papers will have a fortnight as well is a monthly some will have a monthly and a weekly uh, so you need to check uh, uh, what frequencies are you going to be using so in this case it's going to be fortnight so it's one frequency which is better and then for uh, the first processing will be the 14th of march okay that is fine and then you'll, you'll be processing in your first fortnight all right so the other thing that you need to note if it's fortnight, it is weekly, you must know how many weeks are in the year. There are 52 weeks. And then if it's fortnight, how many fortnights are in the year? Here we are dealing with 26 fortnights. So we'll be dealing with the 26 fortnights. Uh, if we are giving information, maybe it's saying yearly, then we need to reduce it to a fortnight by uh, dividing by uh, 26. But you are going to see that as we start with the question paper. So after that, you have the employee information. This information has already been 